Hi, I'm Norman. And I'm Sheena Sutherland. And uh, welcome back to Higher Ground Lifestyle. Some of you will have been following our series of videos over the last few months on our camper van project. But today we're here to bring you the final video in the build series. Today we're going to look at how we turned a £3,500 builder's van into this, our camper van project. Cue the video. We purchased the van from a local voluntary handyman service. It had been formerly maintained by a local Volkswagen franchise who had originally donated it. As a result, it had been mechanically well looked after for much of its life, a factor that my own mechanic confirmed before we commenced any serious work, but it certainly was not loved. Sure, it ran well, but it looked in a very sorry state. No one seemed to have cared what got caught in the doors, and putting anything into the back looked to have had at least a 50% fail rate, at least based on the dents and the dings that we saw. The door cards and much of the roof were also missing, and the doors themselves were full, and I mean full, of sand, stones, and what I could only describe as builder's rubble. It was also absolutely filthy inside and out, with a thick layer of muck on every surface that took us probably three to four days to clean properly throughout the project. Ironically, it actually seems to have protected many of the surfaces, however. More concerningly, small patches of developing rust hadn't been treated at all, and the fuel filler cap was held closed well, almost closed by a rusty screw. But now fast forward six months and see what has changed. The most obvious difference is in the exterior. At the front, the all new T6.1 front end with spoiler and lights adds a much more modern appearance. In particular, the reprofiling of the lights, the grill, the side repeaters, and the wings just provide a softer and more attractive front, three quarter, and side view, in our opinion. California side emblems are an attractive, if cheeky, nod to the Volkswagen thoroughbred equivalent, whilst the side repeaters add some modernity and functionality. The wheels are all Volkswagen original items in a normal size, intended to deliver a comfy ride and a factory look. And the van also sits on conventional T32 suspension that has not been lowered or altered in any way. Extra side and rear windows have been added to give light and 360 degree views, which is a real complement to the rear lounge seating arrangement. This is certainly not a stealth camper, with the body coloured pop top adding even more practicality, including full standing height throughout the van and space for an occasional bed if required. At the rear, a new body coloured bumper with protective strip retains the original parking sensors but adds even more modernity, especially when combined with the latest rear light units. There's also a rear spoiler. And of course, we can't forget that beautiful two-tone paint job in the Volkswagen factory scheme of candy white over bay leaf metallic green. We've also finished the van off with some subtle graphics that feature the Shinya van logo. Opening the rear barn doors, which we have retained for practicality, reveals only a minimal section behind the seats and maximum space in the cabin. But this space has been used for essential emergency equipment, our emergency 12 volt power bank, and also to retain our seats in quick release mounts. These quick release mounts, which are our own design, 
allow the seats to be removed and erected in seconds. And they can also be returned to their secure locations equally quickly. They are mounted on the wooden units at the bottom and a new rear section that we have added to the top of the seats. As well as providing a mounting location, this also holds the rear bolster cushion in place and fills the space between this cushion and the rear barn doors. The rear barn doors have also been fitted with storage units supplied by Kiravans, providing additional space for smaller items that need to be readily accessible. The rear door also provides the mounting location for our table, whilst the rear bolster pad provides the mounting location for our table leg. So nothing moves or rattles when we're driving along the road. It's also possible to access the rear storage sections and the rear of the toilet from the back of the van. Opening the near side sliding door reveals our drinks cabinet, which is accessible to the outside of the van and ideally located for a nice summer evening drink. Looking forward, we can see that the front seats have been replaced with two brand new single seats on factory swivels. They're adorned with covers in a green check and feature bespoke embroidered headdress covers. The dash area has also been thoroughly cleaned and tidied but kept completely original, including the original radio and CD player, which we have no intentions to change any time soon. In fact, we see that as next year's retro. Door cards have also been repaired, refurbished and refinished to ensure that the cockpit area looks original but remains functional. We've also added a protective gasket to ensure that no more rubbish falls down into the window gap. Shinya Van, the Highland Q, also has pride of place here, looking out on the road ahead. As well as being a mascot, she sends the message that we're friendly and we're not inclined to take ourselves too seriously as campers. Looking back, we can see the space afforded by the U-shaped conversion and how all of the additional windows that we have fitted have made a huge difference. The space is comfortable, and sociable. Up to four people can eat at the same table together and we can relax together or apart. The swivel seats add even more useful space and more potential seating options or configurations. Our sink and hob are a conventional combined unit with separate glass work areas which provide useful additional work surface space. They feature an electric tap and an electric starter on the two ring gas cooker. We have converted the cooker for use on smaller cylinders of gas which are much easier to store and we believe much safer. It also means that we can take with us readily multiple spare cylinders and never be stuck for gas. Both fresh water and grey water are easily accessible to top up or to clean out. And the fridge with a freezer compartment works extremely well. A pull out drawer contains everything we need for our morning tea or coffee. And an additional pull out drawer includes clever bespoke storage for all of our food and cooking materials that are not stored in the fridge. Additional storage cupboards also provide all of the space that we need for the items that we travel with. At night or when it gets dark, blackout curtains ensure privacy and no light ingress on those long, bright Scottish summer days and briefest of nights. Whilst a diesel heater with an accessible local remote control and a telephone modem ensure that everyone is warm and toasty, 
even on those extreme midwinter trips to enjoy frosty morning walks or starry, starry nights. Our bed is simple but very effective. It takes seconds to pull together and seconds to put away again. It's large and it's comfortable. Courtesy lights have been retained at the side door and the rear doors, but interior lighting has been supplemented by front and rear lights as well as reading lights. Our front lights are controlled from the front of the van via a dimmer switch. Our rear lights are similarly controlled by dimmer switches in the rear. Reading lights are located directly above your head within easy reach when you're in bed and offer three different settings. The first of these settings is a night light, the second provides a reading light and the third a brighter, more general light. The reading lights are also on directional stocks, allowing the light to be projected wherever you need it. The balance of electrical controls, sockets and switches are also readily accessible with the heater control accessible from the bed at night or the seating area through the day along with the 240 volt sockets. Other switches are on the front end of the unit where they can't be accidentally switched whilst in bed. Our bed also hides the essential toilet compartment which has been designed specifically for a small compact camping toilet. It keeps it safely in position and stops it moving or rattling in use, but it's easy to remove and it's easy to replace. All services have been neatly contained within the central unit and are readily accessible through the offside sliding door. All cables and electrical components are secured behind a lightweight plywood board, but are readily accessible if required. In addition, the fresh water and grey water tanks are visible from here and can be readily removed, topped up, cleaned and changed. In addition, we fitted a valve to the grey water tank. This allows the tank to be used either as a holding tank or simply as a pass-through vessel. This makes it much easier to empty the tank when it's appropriate and safe to do so. Our electrical system is simple but effective. It includes a leisure battery, a split charger, a 240 volt charger and a 240 volt consumer unit with external plug-in on the side of the van. Overall in Shinya Van we believe that we've created a compact, lightweight and efficient but completely uncompromising camper van that delivers exactly what we need. It feels modern, spacious and airy. It's been very carefully planned and there is a place for everything and everything has its place. As a result, everything is secured and we have no rattles and we have no undue wind noise. So we hope you enjoyed that video and the whole series of videos. And if you have, please like and follow Higher Ground Lifestyle. Because whilst this might be the end of the campervan project, it's really just the start of the campervan adventure. And we hope that you will join us on that adventure. Stay safe, guys. Enjoy yourself. And from Sheena and me, adieu.